Are you a motivated woman? Do you love your husband very, very much and only want the absolute best for him? Does the mere mention of your name strike fear into the hearts of theater students? This look is fit for a queen. The queen. Macbeth's queen! Start off with a clean, fresh face, unspeakably clean, and primed with ambitions of grandeur and a childless marriage. While the primer's soaking in, you should leave your house spin around three times, spit, curse, and then knock to be let in, just in case. This liquid foundation lasts 12 hours, so it won't crease from when you're calling on dark spirits to welcoming victim- Guess! Guess! To your humble castle, to convincing your husband to commit first-degree murder. Concealer is incredibly important. I mean, no one needs to know how late you stay up, but Next, an angled brow so that your husband can see your expression from the battlefield. Use the dark powder to define the shape, fill in with the lighter mousse, then blend it all with the brush. Blending is very important. Erase all evidence of struggle. Tap the bronzer on your cheekbones with your fingers, because God knows you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. Blend upwards for a light contour, not the full Kate Fleetwood, followed by a silver highlight on the cheek and inner eye, which will complement your crown really nicely once you're officially coronated. And a very, very light blush, as if you're not truly capable of shame. For the eye, you want something simple and smoky that glitters in candlelight at all the dinner parties you're hosting. First, use this silver crayon, something that your child probably would have loved, but regardless, it makes a creamy base that won't crease during the long night. Purple is such a regal color, don't you agree? You'll need three different shades, lilac for the center, raisin for the outer and inner eye, and sparkly bruise for the crease and liner. Blend it all, and you know, it, it doesn't matter that you're using the same brush for everything, um, you're, you're a busy woman. A little mascara completes this delectable hooded glimmer, which pairs wonderfully with a well-placed kitchen knife. Finally, the lips. You want something moisturizing, so a tinted lip balm with a purple lip gloss works perfectly. It's also heavily pigmented, just in case anyone forgets to whom Lord Macbeth belongs. Now for hair, simply part it into two strands. Braid the left piece to the right side and the right piece to the left side so that it all ties nicely for an easy braided crown. Aye, tis done! You bear a charmed life! You look like the innocent flower but are the serpent under it, with a dagger in your smile. Speaking of smiles, don't you hate it when your lipstick gets on your cheek and it won't, it just won't move, you can't get it off, you just, you just can't? Out, damn spot, out, I say! One. Two white men just time to do it. Hell is murky. Fire, my lord, fire, soldier and afeard. What need we fear who knows it when none can call our power to account? Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? This is just normal Halloween blood, by the way, um, but if you want something edible, then you should take corn syrup, red dye, blue dye, chocolate powder, mix it all together, it congeals really nicely, and it tastes good. Honestly, it shouldn't be Lady Macbeth and Macbeth, it should be Macbeth and Lord Macbeth, like we all know who wears the medieval Scottish pants in this relationship. 